What you guys got another video here for you. I hope you had a great Christmas and also looking forward to the uh, New Year celebrations. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a piece of adware called Trezar. It's pretty nasty and uh, it was brought to my attention by a friend of mine called Tim. He runs a computer repair shop in Savannah, Georgia in America and uh, he had a customer's PC with it on there. He done his full clean up on it and uh, run ADW Cleaner, JRT, Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, all the usual suspects and uh, this persistent little uh, adware was still on the system and I explained to him that sometimes these new variants come around and it can be pretty tricky to remove so I remoted in and had a look at it and I uh, thought I'd make a video to show you so what I'm going to do is quickly show you uh, what a uh, Trezar is, it's pretty nasty now we're on a Windows 10 machine here and uh, I'm going to go to his website here so I'm gonna, if I go up to the top here and just put Tim's computer fix net and go to his website we'll try it on his website you can see it's a fresh install on this machine there's nothing else on on here running now what happens is the page will load up load up and it goes really slow as you can see uh, but once it loads you'll start seeing little um, adverts being installed onto the page so you'll just see them appear, it's still loading um, the pages, so it's slowing the browser down as you can see, and all of a sudden you'll see them appear like this. Now these adverts are on every single page, you'll see it uses certain words, it's very clever how they do it, and uh, they must be making an absolute fortune from this sort of uh, technique, uh, but it's pretty nasty, and it can uh, cause slow browsing and also redirects, because as soon as you click on anything, on the links bar here sometimes you will get redirected to another page or something else will open you can see on here we can uh, see there's loads of other little uh, adverts added in to here and uh, it's pretty nasty as you can see now also uh, as I said once you start clicking on these links sometimes you'll get a secondary uh, page open I'll try and get that to happen as we go along just trying to, here we go, so that's now starting to happen. Now also what happens as well is these pages will change, as you can see here. It normally reads whatever uh, page you're uh, doing, so it will give you adverts related to whatever you're clicking on or whatever that page is on. Uh, as you can see, this is all cameras, and we was clicking on the uh, camera support here, you can see, CCTV. So it reads all those, and it gives you the adverts uh, here and pages. So another thing it does, uh, it adds in a little banner underneath here and down the bottom, and this is all ad, uh, Amazon links. And I'll try and get this to uh, populate as well. And you can see it does these stupid uh, get rich scheme ads as well, uh, which. Well, take a look at what on, happened on the internet. Seriously, you see these on pirate sites and stuff like that. Four hundred eighty-two thousand, one hundred eighteen pounds in the sites. first month. Um, but generally, once you start clicking on here, you'll see this uh, start to populate a, a thing. I'll try and get this to work. So I just paused for a little bit there to, to try and get this uh, advert to come up. And as you can see here, it's starting to put these little uh, brought to you by a Trezar. And you get the one down the bottom. These are rotating. And uh, these can be pretty annoying. And it does slow down the browsing experience. And as you can see, it's still bombarding the page. Now, this is not just... Uh, Tim's page here it's every single page you go to the reason why I went on this one because there's loads of text and I just wanted to show you so uh, let me just show you another site um, and another browser so that is Windows 10 we're on and that was the actual Chrome but let me just show you the Internet Explorer or Edge and we'll go to Tim's one again And I'll just quickly go to this page again using Edge. Now, there's been a few people saying that um, Adware doesn't affect Windows 10 and it doesn't affect the browser. Well, it does. As you'll see here, it, is, it starts to load and then populate. And there you go. It's starting to put ads already on there. And as you can see, it's pretty effective and pretty nasty. Now, you may be thinking you can just go to uh, control panel and then add and remove programs or uninstall a program and you can see here Trezar is here now this is running there's a service on it and it doesn't allow you to uninstall it from here so you can't just uninstall it won't allow you to do that 
So I wanted to show you uh, a method of removing it. Now there's quite a few ways of going about it. Uh, you can use FreeFixer or you can use UnhackMe. I'll show you the un UnhackMe uh, type software. Uh, this has been created by Dimitri, I think his name is, and uh, it's a pretty useful bit of kit. And we'll try uh, using this. Now also what this uh, does is creates a proxy, and I'll show you in regedit. If I open up the registry editor here, I'm going to go to HKey current user and then we're going to come down to where it says software and then Microsoft and then we're going to pull this down right down to where it says Windows and then current version and I'm going to come down to where we see here internet settings and inside internet settings you can see here the proxy server has been enabled and also we've got proxy enabled here. If you look on this one here, you can see it's been created and a, a, a one. So we now know that a proxy is running on this system. So I'll leave this down here. I wanted to quickly just show you uh, FreeFixer first, which is another great tool if you're having trouble with tools like ADW Cleaner and JRT and Malwarebytes that's not removing stuff. You can use tools like this that actually scan the whole system and show you what's been installed recently and you can normally detect them and pick them up and remove them it acts like a file bar recovery scan tool uh, but a more uh, easier graphic user interface well we'll let this uh, run its scan okay so that's the uh, scan complete here so what I'm going to do is just quickly open this up a little bit now once you uh, finish your scan you can pull the bar down you've seen me use this tool before it's pretty effective and uh, if you can see here LAN proxy settings you can see it's detected something now if you click on the more information this will open up uh, this web page and it will give you the information of what it's uh, detected and it will take a bit of time because obviously the uh, adware slash malware is slowing down the system And there you can see it tells you the path for the registry. And as soon as you click on that, obviously you're going to get redirected because of the uh, uh, adware on here. It's even infecting this page here, as you can see. But there's the path for the registry, as you can see. Proxy shows you it's been added. So what we're going to do here is go through here. And you can see you can remove these by just putting inside the run area here. They're uh, Trezar scheduler.exe that's been added in and that's why it's difficult to remove and also you've got your scheduler here and you can go through this area here you see trezar.service.exe and you could just keep continue going through this as you wish to tick all the areas that you want that are infected and then fix at the end okay now I'm not going to use this method I just want to show you uh, this this program it's great for detecting stuff and uh, there you go and you just click fix and it will remove those for you so let's take a look at unhack me uh, when you click on unhack me you got a 30 day trial you can check me now and you can run the online multi antivirus and anti malware scan which is five minutes long we'll just let that run and it will take a bit of time but once this is uh, found these uh, you should remove them now the one that uh, you may have trouble with is which is the uninstaller part and the reason why is because this pro this uh, adware doesn't come with an uninstaller and it just can't remove it but I'll show you the actual program in action anyway. So there we go. Once the scan's now complete here, this is where you might find a bit of an issue when you try to um, when you try to remove it here. So you're going to start fixing it. You can see here what's happened. Unfortunately, there's no installer related to the application. So you can't remove it like that. You can't remove it from here. 
So you try to do the normal thing. You can't remove it from Windows, as I told you before, because it will just give you an error, like so. So there's that part. I missed that part. I will remove that there, as you can see now. We've got this area here, and uh, if you try to remove these, start fixing. We'll see if that works. I'm going to do this one. Start fixing. Go next. And we're just going to run through here and see if this actually removes it. If it doesn't, then we can always revert back to uh, Free Fixer. But um, basically, uh, that's that scan done there, as you can see. Just going to run these through. Here's your uh, browser plugins, and then finished. Restart is required, so we're just going to quickly restart here. And we'll just let that delete. Okay, so we are now back at the desktop here. And I'm just going to quickly take a look with FreeFixer here. We'll let this run a scan on the system. And as I said before, this is a pesky piece of adware that takes, it's pretty persistent. Okay, so that's the scan now complete. Let me just quickly test here to see whether it's detected and removed all of that from the system. I'm just going to come through here and see. You can see it's done a pretty good job at removing all of that from the computer. And also, you may want to, you know, to make sure that everything is off the computer, you can also use a free program called Everything. And you've seen me use this before. Uh, it just basically lets you search the whole computer. So you can do a search for the actual program itself and just make sure everything's gone. You can see prefetch has got something in prefetch which isn't a big deal. A log file there pretty much and the file that's on the desktop here. So that's how you can just quickly check to make sure everything is off the computer. Okay let's just check the uh, registry to make sure that that's um, been removed out of there. I'm just going to quickly go to that location again. And the proxy server's now gone, as you can see. So that's all good. Now, another thing you want to test is make sure that the uh, browser is free and clear. So we can go back to Tim's website here and we'll just see if that's uh, all now gone and you can see the page is loading up a lot quicker it's not having to load any of that uh, adware on the system anyway I'm going to wrap this one up guys I hope this one helps you out that's how you can remove Trezor uh, adware from a computer my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers or anything like that, you can head over to the forums. The information is on the screen right now. Or if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you can also head up over there. The information is on the screen. I'm going to be uploading another video um, shortly after this one. Um, it's a, a, a 
an old video that's been deleted and I'm just re-uploading it okay but um, people have requested it and I did delete it uh, some time ago anyway so thanks again for watching guys have a great new year and I shall see you again in the next video bye for now